Hi, I'm Dr. Benjamin Shadwick, and this is Ruth's Torah Gleanings. Today's Torah portion is called Tizva, which means you shall instruct or you shall command. So the Lord God is asking or telling Moshe, Moses, to tell the children of Israel to command them to bring only the first pressed olive oil to the tabernacle to use in the menorah to keep as a perpetual burning night after night all through their history. Now this is an incredible story and an incredible thought and an incredible idea, but more importantly than what we get in the simple meaning is the fact that the olive oil represents the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is the one who teaches us, who instructs us, and leads us in all righteousness. And more important than olive oil, we now have the very presence of God in our lives. It says in the book of Luke, chapter 11, and verse 11, If there is a father of yours, or you have a father, or you are a father, and you, a son, ask of you, would, could you have a fish? Would you, for a fish, give them a snake? Or if they ask for you to have an egg, would you give them a scorpion? Now, let me interject. Of course not. Because your child is asking you for food, basically. And so if you, for your child asking you for food, would you give them something horrible instead? So the Bible says, no. But you, who, even though you're still sinners you still know how to give good gifts to your children. And then he says this most incredible thing, this most incredible thought, and that is this. He said, if you then who are sinners know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more does the Holy Father want to give you the Spirit of God in your life? So remember, dear brothers and sisters, that our Father, our Lord God, wants us to have His presence in our life. So ask for it. Ask for the presence of God in your life. Ask and you will receive. Yeshua said, you have not because you ask not. So my prayer for you this week is that you ask the Holy Father in heaven what you have need of, and He will freely give. God bless you. Have a good week.